This is the first video on my just checking it out YouTube channel. I'm Ian from Oak and Chain. Uh, I decided to try and do this uh, YouTube channel all the kids are talking about up on the interweb because to be honest, I, there's sometimes I, I ramble a little bit and I don't like doing 15 one minute videos on Instagram, which is the only other social media thing that I use. So essentially the topic I want to talk about today is social media and how it affects artists on, for example, platforms like Instagram, which is about the only one I use. Um, I chose Instagram honestly because it's quick and easy and it's relatively low maintenance. Um, I do not actually consider myself to be an artist per se. Um, I, everyone has different ideas about things. I don't judge, I don't criticize. For me, colloquially speaking, when I think of an artist, I don't think of just someone who is really good at doing art. Good is of course relative and is in the eye of the beholder and it depends on people's taste and stuff. But I think of an artist, let me, let me back up a little bit. I don't refer to myself as an artist because of the fact that I don't really do it for a living. Now, a lot of people might disagree with that terminology, but let's just let's just keep it about that so I don't rub anyone the wrong way. I don't call myself an artist because I don't do it for a living. I'd love to, but I don't. Um, thus far, in spite of a couple, eh, let's call it really kind of non-committed half-ass sort of attempts uh, while waiting on work visas and stuff like that, a couple of the only few times in the last... 15 years I've ever been unemployed, actually waiting on work visas in Europe. Uh, trying to see just for shits and giggles if I could kind of get it going to a point where I could just literally work from home all the time. Um, unsuccessful. <laughs> so I uh, work full time as an electrician here in lovely Vienna, Austria. Um, I do notice, because I tend to follow a lot of other artists as well, um, and for the purposes of this discussion, let's call artists. Uh, people who love to draw or craft or make things or whatever and encouraged by social media to do so specifically by other people who appear to be quite successful uh, selling on platforms like Etsy for example decide hey well why not I, I want to do that too and the issue I have with that is, is I think it can be very misleading and so while my heart goes out to people who have committed all the way into no longer pursuing full-time employment, but rather trying to join the social media gold rush and creating doodads and whatnots and pins and whatever else uh, for sale on Etsy, I, I think that in a lot of ways it could be argued that it's a very same mentality is people that say, oh, well, you know, I want to be an actor or an actress, or I want to be this, or I want to be a professional musician. And the fact of the matter is, it's just life. Not, not everyone, I think, gets to be successful. I think there's, of course, you know, very philosophically more positive arguments that kind of say, hey, if you work hard enough, if you if you push yourself, if you make the commitment, blah, blah, blah. Anyone can be successful on the internet. No, I don't think so. And I don't mean that at a sour grace because I wasn't able to. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are in my same position, given their um, aptitude and whatnot for marketing promotion, probably could have taken what I've done and gone a lot further with it. No question. I have no doubt in my mind about that. But what I'm saying is, I think social media is a double-edged sword. I think... And it was funny because I had a discussion with my wife about this yesterday on the train. I kind of really feel like social media helps the artistic community as much as it hurts the artistic community. And what I mean by that is this. And again, I expect not everyone's going to agree with me on this. This is just my opinion. And I'm just a stupid construction worker. What do I know? I think the internet and social media specifically <clears throat> allow anyone who decides they're an artist to reach a... I, the world, basically. I mean, so much of the world now, a huge percentage of the world is connected, um, is online, is on social media from every country around the globe. Um, it was really interesting for me to see, for example, uh, a month and a half ago, we were in, in Morocco, Marrakesh, uh, North Africa. 
Um, <laughs> I don't think I saw anyone without a smartphone. You know, people who otherwise would have looked like they were living perhaps in squalor on Facebook, on Instagram. Everyone is connected. Um, so someone who decides to bring their art to the world through the internet has the advantage of reaching essentially everybody. Couple problems with that. Number one, I want to go back to something I said earlier at the beginning of that diatribe, which is when someone decides to be an artist. There are a lot of people out there, I'm sure, who uh, studied art, who are professional artists, and so on and so forth. Uh, for example, one of my uh, favorite artists, one of my favorite painters, Saturno Buto. Yeah, sure as shit, that guy didn't just start doodling and have one of his buddies say, Hey, Saturno, you should probably go on the internet and like sell some stuff on Etsy. No, like there are people who are at a completely different level. And I understand this is the whole infinite gray spectrum of art and artists is it's, it's all and I've had this debate many times with other professional and, and amateur artists, it really just boils down to all these other factors. It's a whole other discussion, I don't want to get into it. But anyone, because there's no requirement really uh, to sell art or present art online, you know, decide to do so and go on the internet and put up your sketches and doodles and your crafting and your knitting and whatever else, anyone can do it. That gets to the, the real problem. Anyone can expose themselves, not in a dirty way, online through social media. Therefore, everyone does. So there are hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions of people peddling their wares or their art and whatnot on the internet with hopes of selling it and being successful. And that creates just this vast ocean of other art that people can see that you are going to get lost in. And that's where I think the promotion and marketing is definitely a factor. It's not an egg I've been able to crack thus far. But to be honest, I think it's important not to get discouraged because I do honestly feel there is a luck element to it. And I don't, and again, I don't mean this, I was unlucky, that's why I didn't, I didn't really work hard enough at it. I didn't really bust my ass seriously trying to promote Oak and Chain thus far anyways. And part of it is because my profession is, I'm a professional electrician. I've been so for over 15 years now. That's my bread and butter. That's my rent money. That's my grocery money. I, and honestly, if I had the choice between doing Oak and Chain full time and doing electrical full time, I'd pick Oak and Chain full time. But I'm not really in a position where I can make the decision to say like, hey, okay, I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna drop my whole professional uh, career um, to pursue something that is going to put me in, in probably a dire financial situation until and if I can get it off the ground and at least at the very least meet match the income that I'm getting for my my full-time job eh, no, that's my decision no um, I, I, I see so many people out there saying oh I get rejected by this and I'm not appreciated by that and I haven't sold this I haven't sold that I don't have to tell you um, Honestly, I think your best bet, and this is again just a stupid construction worker's opinion, but gotta work, man. Everyone's gotta work. That's just that's just life. Uh, the only people I think who love working are psychotics. <laughs> um, I, I tell my employer all the time, hey, you know what? I don't work because I want to. I work because I have to. I'm sorry. I hey, I win the lottery one day. I'm done. I'm retired so fast you would make your head spin. So. That's basically that. I think it's really unfortunate to see people who get so discouraged by expecting. I think part of it is I think the idea of selling art and doing art on the line on you know through Instagram or whatever is it, it's a bit misleading. I think it's almost like a I don't know some cliche thing: make money now, become a millionaire now. But without saying so outright, I think. It leads people to believe, people focus in and see these people that you know are successfully selling their art, they're getting 10,000 likes every time they post the whatever dude, newest doodad or thing that they're making. And I think there's this expectation, but also unfortunately, and this is this young generation, you little bastards, I think there's this sense of entitlement. They can, why can't I? And you know, I, I, I really encourage people to just kind of be not so naive in your expectations about trying to sell on social media, 
not to be so naive about your expectations about becoming a successful full-time working artist and earning full-time income on it can be done. Uh, clearly, a lot of people are doing it. And once again, I think that there's a lot of factors in that, not all of which everyone is going to be able to equally replicate. And I will tell you this from personal experience and other projects and ventures I've done, is the second you take something that you love so much doing, and I hope you all do love what you do uh, artistically, is that trying too hard to force it into a full-time career, like something you actually earn money on, can really suck the life and the joy out of it. And I've had the experience before where something I really loved doing, decided being encouraged from different sources, whatnot, to try to make that my bread and butter, and it didn't take a whole lot of time for me to have that twisted and, and mutated into something that I really disliked. And that's fine. That is what it is. I'm not really complaining or whining about it. But I think it's really important to kind of think about this in the sense of if you really do love doing it, do it. But don't try and force it into something that's going to pay your rent. Like I said, uh, sorry, man. You know, I've been on this earth since 1970. I got to tell you, the, the sad fact of the matter is, with the exception of a few people, you know, you got to work. Everyone works. So um, people who, you know, don't, I, I have to remind myself of this constantly. Uh, try not to resent uh, <laughs> uh, people who are successful online. Sometimes I do. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a first one to tell you, I, I see stuff online and I'm like, Oh, it's not as good as my stuff. Oh, they're making fucking 30 sales a day or whatever. Pisses me off sometimes, but that's really shitty of me to do that. And it's shitty of you to do it too. I think it's great to, you know, you don't have to send them a card. Congratulations on your success or anything like that. But I think it's really just stupid, negative, and quite frankly, completely unproductive and pointless to resent people um, who are successful, especially those who you don't feel are as good as you are. Again, guilty. I got to remind myself of that constantly as well. But at the same time, don't be so discouraged. Don't view your success in life uh, upon your ability to successfully sell and market and promote your art and your crafts and so on and so forth. It's just, I honestly think it's a little bit naive to do so. Keep doing it. Make a little extra pin money on the side doing it selling on Etsy and go get that job and then make this something you do for fun you do for yourself and it, it, you know having that steady income will also take the pressure off so you have the time and to to grow as an artist to grow as a hopefully an independent business person and uh hey i wish you all the best i wish you better success than than myself but hey i'm not complaining i don't i don't mind being an electrician and it's nice to have what i call a hobby that kind of pays for itself make a little extra money, buy a new tool, new this, some material, whatever. It's kind of awesome. So hope you all have a great weekend, and uh, thank you for listening.